Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I like to show you, and it is a device. It is from a Driver Genius, and it is an RS232 USB converter. So and not one, but four. So instead of one serial port, old-fashioned nine pins, you get four times RS232 with only one USB cable. And uh, yeah, why you need so many? Well, I do, because I have a lot of older test equipment, or uh, just if I have my uh, GPSDO, I have here a serial output, so I can look at the NMIA, but also this is a U-Blocks receiver. I can uh, use the, the configuration software to add more standards, and I have another video about that. Um, or if you have an old oscilloscope, I have here from Tektronix an older one. The newer have USB, but the older, they have of course uh, the GPIB, but they also have the, have the serial. Or my LCR meter right here from uh, Rosui, or the Ale Tester, no, East Tester. Uh, same, have serial. I have here pretty modern, excellent meter, the 34401, also, of course, GPIB, but also still serial. So I found more and more that uh, that I really need serial ports. And uh, yeah, you can also use these little thingies, one USB, one serial. But then if you need four, you already lose four USB ports. So I wonder how much more convenient is this? So let's have a closer look. Well, my computer has one serial port, so I'm lucky, but of course one is not enough. So I have here this switch box, but you can already see I have another cable here, so that is my fifth. And uh, I just need more ports. And now I cannot use them simultaneously because I need to make a choice. And uh, sometimes you just want to look at two serial devices at the same time. And also my uh, AC power supply here, my AC source. Also serial, so that's already my sixth. So I could use really something more convenient. So when here it is, the box, it's not that big. From Driver Genius, they have a store, it's called vtop.shop, but they also sell in Amazon. And after the order was placed in Amazon, I really had it the next day, and that was here in Europe. So if you want it fast, use the Amazon store. I will link uh, down below. And here it is. It's actually quite neat. It's uh, metal instead of plastic. I like that. Well, they put some protection. The cable is the right way around. That is also nice. And ooh, they all have little LEDs. That will make <laughs> extra LEDs. That makes your day. That is cool. The more flashing lights, the better comes with the cable. It is a USB 1.1 and 2 compatible. And uh, well, it doesn't come with the CD because the people nowadays, of course, don't know what is, how to load the CD because you can't find that in your computer. And uh, we just download from the website and then we are also sure that we have the latest driver. That is the thing I would do anyway, even if I did receive a CD. Well, if I understand correctly, it is uh, compatible with Mac and with Windows both. And on their website, you can see they have a lot more USB devices, network, card readers, everything that has to do with uh, USB. And mostly, if not all, all the devices are for Mac and Windows both. Um, I think Windows 7 up, even up to uh, 11. So it is uh, ready for the latest. I really like its metal. It just feels good. Um, so they say you can just plug it in your computer and then hopefully it will detect it. And if not, then you download the latest driver from the website. It, I like to download the driver because then you know how it works. So I will go with the computer and we look together and I put the screen recorder. Um, but it is the Profilic uh, chipset. So probably it will work immediately, but I will download it anyway. So we can go through that process. Okay, let's have a look at the, at the website. Because we like to get the, the driver. It is the vtop.shop. And uh, oh, here it is already. 
and they also have a single one also with the LEDs I, I like that there's a nice uh, detail so we can have a look if they have a tap for the driver on the device itself ask a question write a review yes the driver download page is for the documents but is it also for the driver yes it is okay perfect so that is one way to get there or we go to support and then downloads yeah it's all pretty straight forward we need the four port usb but we end up on the same page perfect and this is the installer for windows 7 all the way up to 11 and for mac os well we have all the versions 10 and all the way up and there even is a binary driver well i'm not that familiar with mac so i will just download this driver okay that doesn't work like that probably a pop-up blocker so can i do a uh, safe link s yes that works better okay we keep it okay there it is uh, go to my download folder it is the top one we just going to extract that <coughs> this in the same folder that is okay then it should be on the top it is and we have a 11 well i don't have windows 11 so i'm not going to use this one i used the 10 8 7 okay there is a manual but there is okay also an installer it thinks i already have this driver on the pc but mm, yeah then it's not needed because otherwise it would not say so i'm not going to install it so you will be notified automatically so we get the device manager we go to ports and let's see what port numbers it will create Abel put one in the screen right here and I will plug in the USB and it should create a few COM ports there it is it is already done it, it created port 16, 17, 18 and 19 ok not all the software will pick those high COM port numbers but it is also because I already have a lot of USB devices so I will show you later how to uh, how to change those numbers look at that all the lights are on I like it um, I think I do have a device that is able to pick a high COM port number yeah so what I mean is I have here my LCR meter and here okay it can do 16 okay let's let's get my lcr meter on com 16. then we can use it all simultaneously i have here my gps it's now to com one and it will receive a lot of data this is my gps so i will stop that i will put this then to 17 because 16 is now in use with the other Let's use all the COM ports at the same time. We start with these two. Uh, yeah, now I need to connect everything. And my cables are a bit short, but I think you can see. So if I now start to connect. Okay, I found what the problem was. They are just numbered from uh, from right to left instead of left to right so my most right one was 16 then 17 uh, 18 and uh, 19 okay now i like to connect the certifies and that is my uh, my pll i have that one here and then i need com 19 
and that is not in the list so how do we solve that the highest this program can do is uh, 10 so then I just go to the device manager and then I can change this one into 10 because I know I am not using COM10 at the moment I don't even know what device that was so let's go into the driver somewhere here we need to be able to change that port number probably in advanced yes so here I want to change it back to 10 even though it says it's in use I'm still going to do it so I just say yes yeah just do it and this is also the way how you can set it in another order if you would like that so well after I changed that COM port because all these others were running it got a little bit confused so I did a restart and now I can actually open the port and uh, I can now uh, read or write it's even writing right now to the PLL and uh, I think it is done because it doesn't take that long writing complete I can close the COM port and done uh, let's see what it looks with all the lights because I really like those details of those LEDs that they uh, use. So my cables are a little bit short so I just put it there almost besides my switch and uh, you can see the one that's blinking most that is uh, my L LCR. Well it's not blinking most, this one is blinking most, that's why it's super fast, that's the GPS. This one is blinking slowly, it's just scanning the LCR meter to update the screen and here is my PLL that will only blink when I write so I will open the COM port and now I will try to write and there it was already that was super fast yeah it's cool I like the LEDs then you can see uh, things are active so wow that's really convenient yeah you need you need to find out which one which port is which because it was now numbered backwards but i show you how you can change the port number when i changed my 19 to com 10 because my program that i use couldn't use the higher ports but as you could see a lot of other programs do but then you can just if you like to have it in a certain order you can just change it exactly as i show you in the device manager and for me this is super convenient and uh yeah, because instead of the switch, I can really use everything now simultaneously. I don't need to think of, oh yeah, my switch need to be, because I use this little post-it notes on my switch, which device is where, and then because I have two more cables, I also needed to label those, and take the cable out of the switch and put it in, so I, the switch was not enough. And this hub I can just put somewhere in the back of my computer. But because of the flashing lights, I probably want to have it in a place where I can see that it is active. Because, yeah, I just like the ideas of these LEDs. That is really an, uh, an extra. And because you can also see, okay, data is coming. I can see it pooling. So, uh, yeah, I like that. So, Driver Genius, thank you very much for letting me test this device. It's uh, really practical and I will use it immediately. And... Uh, if you think oh, this is a very uh, interesting product, I will leave the links from their own store, the, the feetop.shop and uh, the Amazon link. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, it really arrived the next day. So that was uh, super fast. The Amazon store does this work well. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.